Hello everyone, welcome to the Pencil Tutors channel. I'm Anis and today I'll be teaching you Form 5 Chapter 1 Variation. Variation has four types, direct, joint, inverse, and combined. Firstly, direct variation is when x increase, y will increase. y varies directly with x. So in equation form, we write it as y equals to kx. K is a constant. What if T varies directly with square root of R? So in equation form, we write it as T equals K square root of R. Don't forget the K constant. Same goes if we say S varies directly with P squared. We write the equation as S equals to K P squared. Right? Second, joint variation is when Y varies with two or more elements. For example, Y varies with X, Y varies with Z. So, we can write it as Y varies with X and Z. An equation form, we can write it as Y equals to K x z not just y what if we say p varies jointly with r r squared and q we can write the equation as p equals to k r square q okay. thirdly inverse variation is when x increase y will decrease we can write it, sorry, in equation form, we can write it as y equals to kx. So y varies inversely with x, 1 over x. What if p varies inversely with q? In equation form, we can write it as p equals to k over q. Alright, lastly, combined variation is when we combine all the variations into one. For example, what if we say y varies directly with x but inversely with 1 over z. With it. So we can write it like this. So we combine it as y varies directly with x but inversely with z so in equation we can write it as y equals to kx over z another example let me get some space here All right another example is if we say p varies jointly with square root of r and q square. So in equation form, we can write it as p equals to k square root of r and q square. Alright, let's move on. To answer questions, firstly we have to read the question carefully and follow the instructions. So steps for problem solving. Using this example, Y varies directly with X, but inversely with Z. If Y equals 10, X equals 5, and Z equals 2, express Y in terms of X and Z. So, the first thing we have to do is we need to find K. So, by doing that, first we need to write down the information. So, Y varies directly with X and inversely with Z. So in an equation form, we write it as y equals to kx over z. So it tells the it, first thing we need to do is find the k. So we just substitute the values in the question into the equation. So y equals 10, k, 5, 2. So 20 equals to 5k, k equals to 4. Once we find 4, we have to put it, we have to substitute it into this equation. 
So your, your final answer would be y equals to 4x over z. Okay, another question. What is y if x equals 10 and z equals 4? Okay, since we already found our k, we just substitute it. So we rewrite y equals to kx over z. Y, what is y? So k is 4, x is 10, and z is 4. y would be 40 over 4. So y would be 10. Okay, another question. So D varies jointly with T and S. If D is 0 0.2, T is 0 0.5, and S is 0 0.1, express D in terms of T and S. So we bring out the information. So D varies jointly with T and S. So an equation for is D equals K, T, and S. So D is 0 0.2. K, T is 0 0.5, S is 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.1, alright, so we have to find K, right, so K will be 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.5, 0 0.1, K will be K would be 4. Okay. Find T when D is 0 0.5 and S is 0 0.1. So, since we found everything, we can just easily substitute the values into the equation. Okay. T, S. We want to find T. So, D is 0 0.5, 4, T, and S is 0 0.1. So, t, t would be 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.4, t would be 1.25. I'm so sorry. This first question, I didn't finish it. So, once we find k, we need to put d in terms of t and s. So we rewrite this equation and put the k in the equation. D equals 4ts. So this is your final answer. So don't do the mistake I did. Once you find k, put it back into this equation. Alright. Okay, so pro tip for solving question. Number one, read the question carefully. Number two, write down the information. Number three, always find K first. And number four, substitute and calculate. You will get your answer. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget, we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday covering physics, mathematics, and biology. Bye!